Hey everyone, it's Erin, your $5 fashionista team leader with Paparazzi Accessories, and I'm going to quickly go through the Building a Successful Paparazzi Business Finder that we were introduced to at convention. Um, we received these at convention. If you went to Vegas, um, you got one of these. And um, it's just really, really cute binder. It's got the Paparazzi logo and sign on it. And inside, um, of course, it's, it's kind of a fun gray. It's got Paparazzi. Um, has a place for your business cards, has um, just this little, um, you can put something in here, a little folder. Um, and anyway, it's just kind of your path to success. And the very first section talks about your why. And it has a place where um, it details um, what your short-term and long-term goals are and then what your why is. You can detail it. And then you write down up here at the top. Um, your building, your business building advocate, and that's the person that you're going to go to for help, um, or if you're struggling, um, hopefully it's going to be your um, your sponsor. So if I'm your sponsor, I would be your business building advocate or your BBA. So when you hear me say BBA, that's what I mean by it. Um, and you write down their email and their phone number. Anyway, and then you're going to fill this out. So that's kind of Step number one is writing down your short-term, long-term goals and your why. And you all know why your why is important. It's the reason why you're doing paparazzi. Um, it's what's going to motivate you to keep going um, and kind of just um, push yourself and challenge yourself. Okay, so the number two section, section number two, is party point tracking. And they came up with a system of tracking points for each of your parties. And so you get um, points for different things. Like if you have a calendar at your party, um, then you get points for that. If you host the party, um, and you, you get 50 points for that. If you have more than 100 pieces of items at your party, you get points for that. Um, so it has different points that you can earn for the things that you do at a party. And then you're going to tally up the points that you did um, when you're done. And you'll write in your hostess's name. You'll write in how many pieces um, were sold, how many people came to your party. Um, you'll also write down if you book parties and if you... Um, signed up in your recruits at your party. And then what you're going to do at the very end of the month is you will tally up all of your party points from all of your parties that month, and you'll you'll tally it in the bottom. You'll say pieces sold for the entire month, how many parties I booked, how many new recruits I had, how many total party points, and my organizational volume for my team, my personally sponsored that were active that month, and then you'll write down if any of them were directors, you write down how many, and then you write down the rank that you earned um, for that month. And what you're going to do is you're going to take all that information and you're going to report that to your BBA. So you call them up and say, okay, I have my, my monthly numbers. I'm going to tell you about them. Or she'll call you and say, hey, you know, I just I want to get your monthly numbers. Let me write them in. And so your next section, um, it's about supporting your team. And it talks about how you build your team and then it has a success page. So... Every consultant in your downline will have their own success page. So this will be Cindy's success page. And I will call her up, say, this month at the end of September. And I'll say, okay, so what were your total party points? What, were your, what was your month's rank? What was your organizational volume? And so on and so on. And I fill that all in. Now, you may think, okay, I really don't want Erin calling me and bugging me about points and all of that kind of thing. That's just ridiculous. I didn't sign up for this. It's not supposed to be about that. That's all well and good. This is just something that's optional. You do not have to do this. I'm not going to bug you and say, oh, I need to know what your points are or else, you know, <laughs> this has nothing to do with that. But I guarantee that if you girls are tracking your parties, you are going to be able to see what you did different from one party to the next and what made differences in your parties. So say your party total um, from one party, you had 120 points. Okay, and you sold two hundred and fifty dollars that, and then you have another party that you only sold like mm, say maybe eighty dollars worth, and then you go back through and you look at the points that you tallied for that party, and it was only like ninety. You can go back through and say, oh, I forgot to do something. What was it that I forgot that made such a big difference in my party? So, tracking your parties is a great way to be able to say. Um, oh, this worked and this didn't work. I got more sales from this party because I did this. So it's a way to compare your parties to each other and what you're doing that works versus what you're doing that or what you're not doing. Um, and then just as an upline, I will be able to mark that down for the month and from month to month see how much you have done, how many gains, um, I guess how much you've progressed. 
and I'll be able to say, oh, look, from this month you did awesome. And then guess what? The month after that, fabulous. You even did more. What are you doing? What is it that you're doing that works? And, you know, it's for an upline, it'll be great for me to see that you guys are doing amazing, that you're continually progressing, you're reaching your goals, you're hitting, um, you know, your short-term goals and then your long-term goals. And then also, if you get in a rut, say you just you called up so many people and everyone just keeps saying no to you and you're just struggling and you're just having a bad day, you can call me up and I can say, hey, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Do you remember back in November last year, you had an amazing, amazing month. You booked like seven parties in one week and, you know, you sold over $1,000 that month. You have got to feel good about that. Or say like, do you remember like two months ago you hit director, you got so many recruits and you were just on fire. You know, it's a way for us direct for us um, uplines to help motivate our girls, help keep them going, and then also say, hey, look, you know, July wasn't really great. I know. What happened? What do you think was different between July and last November? What do you think um, was the kind of key factor? So it's just a kind of a way for us to track um, what we do each from month to month so we can see what works and what doesn't work and so that we can be better and build our business um, the way we want it to be built, the way we want, we want to keep progressing and keep moving forward. So we can just find out what works for us and have someone to back us up. Now, I'm not going to use these sheets, you know, because everybody has their own sheets, my downline. I'm not going to use these sheets and compare, oh, look at what Susie did compared to Linda. I am not going to compare you guys to each other, and you shouldn't compare your downlines to each other either. These are just for us to help you as an individual, Okay. This isn't to compare you to anyone else. This is to compare you to you. Because you have to, you've got to look back to see where you started, to see how far you've come, and to see what works and what doesn't work for you. Not what works for that person and that they're doing, you know, all these things. It has nothing to do with them. This is all about you and no one else. Um, so I'm just going to put that disclaimer in there as you're applying that I will never compare you to anyone else. I can give you ideas of what has worked for someone else and see if you can implement it and that might help you. But I'm not going to say, oh, you know, she's doing so much better than you. I'm not going to say that. I wouldn't say that. Okay, so then our next, moving on, the next section is called Hostesses. And what this is, is pretty much a master hostess list. So as you do parties, you are going to generate a master hostess list. These are all the women um, that have done uh, paparazzi parties for you. And so you're going to write in their name and their phone number, and you're going to write notes about their party. And then you're also going to write in their birthday, so that maybe on your birthday, you know, you can send them a fun card or give them a free piece of jewelry or something that just makes them feel special and kind of a thank you for hosting the party. Uh, another thing that you can do, which I would highly encourage, is go back through your hostess list um, and, you know, send them a thank you note for hosting a party. If you had any um, hostesses the last two months, Go back through and say, hey, thanks for hosting a party for me. I am really thankful um, for your business and that you were so willing to open up your house um, for me to, to do a paparazzi party for you. And I had so much fun helping you earn free jewelry. You know, send them a cute little note. I mean, because chances are if you are nice to them and you're doing great things um, and you're building up that rapport with them, they are going to want to come back and do another party with you if you call them again. So you're going to use this master hostess list to call these hostesses again and rebook your parties. And also you can write down in your notes, oh, you know, her party had a lot of teenagers and they we sold a lot of rings at her party. So the next time you have a party with her, you're going to make sure you have a lot of rings at her party. So it's really a great tool too. Now the next section is your clientele master list. So these are going to be your regular customers. Those are the ones that keep um, buying your things online or calling you up in the middle of the night saying, oh, I have forgot, I have a thing tomorrow, I need um, some great jewelry to go with my new outfit or I have a job interview, do you have something? These are your regular customers and you're going to write down, you know, the, the day they come shopping with you, their name, their phone number, their email, um, and then you can write notes. You know, oh, she came to buy um, something for her daughter's wedding or she came to buy presents for um, her her husband or her her, her husband's mother or something like that. Um, but anyway, and then you can go through this list um, and say um, maybe book parties with these ladies. Um, if you need if you need more parties, say, hey, you know, you're a regular customer of mine. You're always buying some jewelry. I want to help you earn free jewelry. Let's, let's put you on my calendar. Um, if you're not comfortable having it at your house, let's go to the restaurant downtown that's got a free conference room. Let's just set it up there and invite all your friends to have a girls' night out. Do whatever works for them. 
But the important thing is that you're going to have this email contact information for all of your clients, your regular customers. So when you have um, new inventory, you email them. When you have a party that's open having um, people that they don't know come, you email them. If you have an open house or an event, you email them so that they know, hey, I got new jewelry. Hey, I'm doing a party this time. Because these girls are the ones that keep coming back and back and back. And they're, they're going to want to know when you have those events. So um, that's your master clientele list. Now, the very, very last section was really great of them to think about this because we all need one of these. You're right. It is calendar. We all need to have calendars at our parties and events so that we can book parties, right? You don't have a calendar. What are you going to do? Scramble, try to pull out your phone on this little, it'll take time to put in all the buttons. Get a calendar right here. It's here for you. So you just write down the month, fill it in. Um, and here is a tip that Andrea Janke shared with us at convention. Um, she always talks about fake it till you make it and especially about your calendar. She said, fill up your calendars um, so it looks like it's busy. So it looks like there's parties even when there isn't parties. And what she does, and she's like, I don't, I don't want to be deceiving people. And so what she does is she writes in her daughter's dance recital. And so she'll write, okay, Susie has, um, so she'll write Susie, and then she'll write the address of where she takes dance classes, and then she'll write from 7 to 8. So to, the, to anyone else who's looking at her calendar, it looks like she has a party, but it's just an appointment that she has. She knows she can't do a party at that time because her daughter has um, a dance recital, or her son has a football game, or she's going on a date night with her husband, or, you know, she has a church activity on this day. But to everyone else, it looks like her calendar is full of parties. But to her, there's just different appointments that she knows, oh, well, I can't do a party then, I can't do a party here, and I can't do a party there. She says the thing that's weird is, is that women love to feel like they're doing something that everyone else is doing. And so to have a full calendar, it makes them want to book a party even more. If you have an empty calendar, they're less likely to book a party. It's just something mental with us. We don't want to feel like we're left out or we're not doing the end thing or what everyone else is doing. So if the part, the calendar is booked with parties or looks that way, they are more likely to book um, a party with you. So anyway, these are the new binders we got at convention. They're awesome. Ryan Daly um, had said in the breakout session that I think the worksheets are going to be back in the back office for us to print out. So we aren't going to have to purchase um, the, the worksheets. Now the binder itself and probably the little tabs, I think maybe initially you'll have to purchase a binder initially. And then the worksheets as you go through, you can refill them with the things you print off. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a great tool. It's going to come in all of the starter kits starting this month. So all the new recruits who sign up for the starter kit are, is, are going to get this um, fabulous um, binder. So um, if I were you, I would, um, you know, maybe write notes so that you can tell them, hey, this is what's going to come in your starter kit. And if you need any questions, you can direct them to this video and hopefully it'll help walk them through it a little bit. If you have any questions, I'm your BBA. You can call me. You know where to find me on Facebook. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. So I'm really excited to see how this helps us um, do better parties and build our businesses. So I'm Erin, and I'm your upline, your $5 um, fashionista team leader. And I hope you guys really enjoy this short tutorial.